Alright, hello and welcome everybody back to some more Abzu. I hope you're all having a wonderful time. We're gonna get back into the third part of Abzu. Now please remember I did, as I stated before, I have already recorded this video because I recorded the two videos. Um, but they both kind of did not work out right because OBS did not record it properly as I said in the last one So I, I, I already know what to do and I've already pretty sure explored everything in this area But there's one particular specific thing that I do want to go down and see and show you guys Just because it is down here and I thought it was kind of cute when I first saw it And I already took a screenshot to use as a thumbnail so I'm still going to use that anyway all right, well, number one, we have this cute little blue crab, or blue lobster, actually. Hey, and he comes right towards me. Hello. Hello, little blue lobster. Oh, you're so cute. But over here, this little guy, do you see that? The red octopus? Ah, uh, isn't he just pretty? Look, oh, uh, don't be afraid. Don't be afraid, little red octopus. It's okay. Oh, I can go right through the pot. <laughs> well, that's really all I want to show you guys. That was that really intrigued me when I first found it. I thought it was extremely cute. So, yeah. Now we're gonna go through and get the robots. I've already got the pool, I don't know why I'm pointing at it, as if you guys can see it. But I've already got that little pool over there where the um, fish pop out of, like right over here, this thing. I've already got that, so we don't need to worry about that. But we do have another little red octopus over here. Okay, so our goal for this is obviously to open this gate here. And these chains, you can see they do something and they go somewhere. So that's obviously how we need to open it. And I wonder if these little Nautilus shells are... The, I wonder if they give you clues as to say, Hey, there's a shell hidden down here. I already did get the shell that was hidden down here. So I don't think there's anything else in here. Which is totally fine, I guess. But you can see over here we do have another robot. Now, Omar wanted me to name one of the robots Omar, so... I guess that's what we'll do, and the other one I'm going to say is also Lester. So we have Lester back again. And just in case, I don't believe I missed it, but I am going to uh, go and meditate on this, sh on this statue, the shark statue. So the, one of the little chains you can see obviously goes right here. So let's go open up this coral with one of these little robot drones. Thank you. Thank you for opening that for me. I appreciate it lots. Now we'll go in here and we watch it grow, go from very light to all of a sudden quite dark, aside from these little glowy orbs. And now let's pull on this thing. Turn the chain and start opening the gate for us to go through. Perfect. Now we can move on to the next chain, which is somewhere just down below, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. Actually, I don't think it's below at all. I think it's, like, right over here. Oh, hey, what did that give me? Did the fish give me a little boost? Oh, that was interesting. I don't even know what the heck that was. I wasn't expecting something like that. Did you see my fins glow? I like that with the little, the, I think that's a shark statue, or shark head anyway, that's like spitting out the water. I thought that's cute. Let us get on our way. See if I can get the fish to give me another boost. Is that working? I like how all the fish follow me, but I don't think it's giving me any kind of a boost. Oh, this game is just so pretty. Look at that! See, they all follow me! Oh my gosh, I love it. And now in here, I don't believe there was anything else that I missed either. I'm pretty sure I got all the shells in here. According to what was shown on the shelf um, collection wall thing there that we saw in the last video, I'm pretty sure that showed that I already got all the fish from this area. There's a lionfish. Please don't poison me. Because I'm a robot, so it doesn't really matter too much. <laughs> Alright.
Alright, so let's go into this dark... This dark little area over here. And there's the shark. There's Mr. Shark again. Hello, Mr. Shark. How is you? And he runs away. Okay. So now we're gonna follow the shark through this dark passageway. I just like all the glowing orbs that are all over the place. Those things. Whatever those things are. They're pretty. Everything is pretty in this game. Literally everything. Ah, uh, yes. Alright, I remember this area now too. So this area I also have already looked at everything and I have already explored everything. I just kind of want to quickly show you guys over on the sides here. Up here you can see like structures like this. There's these cool little structures, walls, rooms, you can go inside, there's windows as well, swim through the window. And over on that side right there, right above the door, there was another little area uh, where there was another shell. But anyway, enough of that, let us go straight into this thing. And there we are. So now our job is again to go and spit another little bubble of our soul out of ourselves. And put into the bubble with this coral. While we of course also look at all the prettiness of this. You can see the nautilus shells and the the orcas over there, the mantas over there. We have this area over here which is going to give us something and then there's going to be one more area for us to get as well. And we get to watch more prettiness. I didn't even realize that down there. There was a bit of structure that was kind of just hanging against the thing. Well, we brought this place back to life. Oh, there's one of those guys there. Oh, it's a whale shark. I think I already, yeah, I already saw this guy, but I guess I forgot about it. Let me ride you. Ah, I can ride the whale shark. Oh, isn't that just pretty? Oh my gosh. Uh, where are you going, little buddy? Where are you going? I'm trying to figure out my hand so I can take a screenshot of this because <laughs> that's just so pretty. All right, well, why don't we continue on into here because there's a lot of stuff we have to actually do in here. And that's something I like doing as well. We can make this whole entire area glow. Look at that. Oh, this shows us more shells again. Oh. So is there going to be an entire, or sorry, is there going to be this area um, in every section, I wonder? And this is so cool to look at. Like just the imagery of whatever exactly it is that they're doing. There's a the little temple thing, or shrine thing, that we just saw pop out with the coral above it. There's more fish. Oh. Let's turn and go inside there. There we go. There. And there's that giant triangle thing, and that is, I think, me. Right there. Or it's supposed to be. More triangle things. I don't know what to call those. I really don't. I just think this is cool. 
And this side. Oh! That's showing the coral being broken. Well, that one's not as nice of a picture then. Okay, well, let us go to the next room. Anything to the left? No. Nothing to the left. Now, I'm curious. See, that lights up the entire way going that way. Oh, okay, yeah. I think it probably just lights up in a circle around you. Or some radius around you. But I still wonder why it does that. Why does it light up like that? There's all these pretty fish in here, too. There's another shark statue for us to meditate on. The Great White. The Giant Shrine. With the four smaller ones around it. Or a temple in the middle, maybe. Instead of a shrine. Oh, I just love looking at the pictures. I don't know what to say about the pictures. I just... It, it, it's hard to, I guess, understand what the pictures exactly mean or anything, but they look really cool. Oh, we have this light. We're following around an anchovy. Hello, Mr. Anchovy. <laughs> I love following you around. All right, well, I think that's enough for now because I did already get this meditation statue, so... Let's go through this little archway. Or, well, arching door. It's not really an archway. It's an arching door. Another one of those giant triangle things destroyed down here, too. And another triangle door waiting for us. So let's get our tukus over to the triangle door so we can go through it. And into the next level. The fourth one. Let me in. Open sesame. Knock knock. Open triangle. I don't know. Can I swim down with these guys? Aww, no. If there wasn't an invisible wall, I probably could have. Now this area, I do not know anything about. I have not seen this area. Well, I mean... Not for myself, anyway. I haven't played it myself, and the last time I did see it, like I said at the very beginning of this, I did watch Dragas play this a long time ago, so... But I still don't remember most of it. So this area is kind of new to me. Have not explored this area myself yet. And we will get into this dark area in the next one. So thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next video. Have a wonderful day, and God bless.